A $50 million lawsuit is headed to court five years after an inmate died at the Macon County Jail. WCNI3's Jamie Mays has more on this. The family of Michael Carter Sr. wants justice. He died in 2015. In a formal complaint, the family says Carter was sent to the jail in July of 2015. It said Carter's prescribed diabetes medication was taken away from him during his booking. The complaint says he got sick and was not given the emergency medical care he needed. It also states he was denied ambulatory transport to the hospital and he died in his jail cell from diabetic ketoacidosis. The family wrote us a statement. It says, in part, our family will never stop fighting for Michael's justice because we don't ever want another family to have to deal with such a loss as this because of negligence, medical, or any type. There are several defendants in the case, including the Macon County Sheriff's Department, Decatur Memorial Hospital, and DMH Corporate Health Services. Court documents show the witnesses had different versions of the events in question, often suggesting that another co-defendant was more responsible for decisions that plaintiffs says led to Carter's death. Indicator Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader. This case is set for a jury trial on September 8th.